Welcome and welcome back. Hey, what's up, y'all? We got a Cold Steel Hollow Handle product today. It's the Survival Edge Survival Hollow Handle Knife. She knows all the information on it, so why don't you tell them something a little bit? Okay, so apparently this, uh, there are some places saying that this is discontinued and other places saying it's just out of stock. MSRP is $40. Blade HQ had them for $26.95. Now, this is made from German 4116 stainless steel. It's got an overall length of 9.25 inches. Your blade length is going to be an even 5 inches. Your handle length is going to be 4.25. Your weight for the blade comes in at 3 ounces. Now obviously that's without anything in here. And your weight for the sheath is about 1.6. Alright. Yeah, this is a, a pretty light knife. As you see here, it's made with that uh, this is a, a polymer. Yes, it's a polymer handle. Okay, really nice and smooth, first of all. That is nice. It reminds me of that Glock 81 knife that we did um, with a little bit of ramping right here mm -hmm. on, the, on, a, on, a, on the forward edge of that handle. Um, but but I ours, love, oops, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, ours is missing part of it. Yes, so. that's right. Um, we, uh, we bought this second hand. Um, it's like she said, it's discontinued, but that's what it looks like right there. Um, it has like black rubber bands on it or something. Yeah, or some type it's, of grip. it says that it comes with like these rubber uh, grips on the handle and also a fire steel. Now, since we got our second hand, we don't have those little rubber grips on our handle yeah. or the fire steel. Yeah, which is fine. It's still really nice and smooth, and I'm sure I could find some rubber bands or some gaskets to put on there. I got oh, some yeah, gaskets no um, to put on that. Um, um, like I said, this reminds me of that Glock 81 knife. Can you imagine Glock doing something like this? That um, or a collaboration with like Mora or something like that, yeah. putting a scanning grind on one of their Mora knives, mm -hmm. and then putting like Glock <laughs> polymer on it with a with a with a cap. That would just be rocket man. That would be sick. Yeah, the Sandvik steel you can't go wrong with. It's affordable. It's 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 durable. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a stainless, right? A German yep. stainless. German forty one sixteen. All right. As you see, it has the the hand guards, has some lashing holes there. So if you want to do the whole spear the spear point thing, yeah, they uh, even say that specifically that they designed it that way so that you could make an improvised spear. Made in Taiwan. Yep. Um, let's see the spine here. Yeah, as you see, it looks like they were striking some fire on it. Let's, yeah. Oh, and it's pretty. It's 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 pretty sharp too. I'm gonna say sharp, sharp, but it's gonna it's definitely gonna be able to uh, strike a fire there. Oh yeah, especially up here. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, you got a get a nice little uh, clip point on it. Um, drop point. The drop point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Satin finish. A little bit satin mirror finish on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's got that plain edge Scandi grind. I I seen a, I seen a couple of videos on this and people were saying, oh man, this knife's the shit. Um, compared to like other hollow handle knives, this is the only one to buy because all those other ones will break and it's garbage. And it's true. I you know at, back in the eighties, um, they made a bunch of just just novelty type thing. You of know course. the whole Rambo yeah. inspired thing. But uh, actually having a compartment in your knife is not a bad thing. Yeah, I mean think about this scenario. Think about uh, a tour guide or a wilderness guide, and you know they're they're taking people that don't have knives on them, or let's just say they have a Swiss Army knife or something like that. Um, you guys get separated down the river with rafts or someone, you get separated from your tour guide. Yeah. And, uh, the tour guide gave you this because he knew you didn't have anything. You're going to be thanking your lucky stars. <laughs> when you open up that top and you find that he put matches and fishing hooks. Exactly. It's just gives me enough to get you till worse, you know, someone's going to, till safety gets to you. Yeah. Um, that's or what we have in ours. someone right finds you. <laughs> As you see there, little big fits right in it um i'm most likely gonna you know, put matches but it just shows right there that it can store a little little uh um big lighter look at this cap it looks like something off of a, a water bottle it does i mean <laughs> it, uh, as it you really guys here, reminds look, me of a water bottle cap it's no, number three like <laughs> so look i'm squeezing i'm compressing that together i mean you could squeeze this cap so the guy, you know, people saying that this knife's the shit and everything. I mean, I could totally see how practical this knife is. Yeah, I mean, for um, the price, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. You're getting kind of, de you know, decent steel. It doesn't have as much edge retention, but it's got pretty good rust uh, resistance. Yeah, and that scanning grind's going to be easier for the novice um, or, uh, you know, for the, for the entry-level person to know how to sharpen it, put an edge on it if you need to. So um, And for getting things done around the camp. Here's the sheath. Um, Kydex. Kydex? Yep. Is that Kydex? Is this really Kydex? It says it's Kydex sheath. Wow. Okay. So, we got some training Kydex holes in it. Kydex X sheath. They call it a Securex sheath, I guess. I don't, I don't know why, but got that's a, what they call it. Got a real nice soft 
soft bendable clip there. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like something you can latch on, you know, yeah. some type of belt or pack attachment on a button. Mm -hmm. um, as you see, we don't have the fire steel in ours. Um, yeah. Um, it didn't come with it, but I got a fire stick, just a little janky one, just uh, <laughs> to show you how we'll do. We'll do a, uh, a strike example and strike some uh, um, some of this ferro rod here and see uh, how he's it works. gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, a little. Uh, here's some other ha uh, hollow handle knives we had on the channel. Here's that old Japanese Parker one. Um, here's another Japanese Survival Master one. And like I said, this one has a saw on it. I could probably literally with this this survival handle knife, I could cut through that fucking knife. <laughs> I'm serious. This hollow that that plastic. You can probably cut through the plastic. Yeah, yeah, not that I would do it, but it's just like everyone's saying, you know, that knife. And most likely, this is more practical. I'm not going to be carrying this unless I'm at camp or something. Mm -hmm. um, if someone handed me this, was definitely some, something you would hand to somebody. And uh, it's, that doesn't it's, have a lot of experience. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's just it's more, a great entry level. It, exactly. I mean, this right here is just. I mean, this is totally random. Ambo shit, but uh, I mean, I could saw through this knife, literally this plastic <laughs> handle. So I mean, it's not that that. I mean, this ain't gonna this ain't gonna do nothing to this knife. I mean, what are you gonna? You're not yeah. gonna saw through a metal <laughs> handle. I'm just saying. And let's let's try to flex here on this. Let's try squeezing this thing. Yeah. So it, it will. Yeah, it'll it will flex a little bit. So it, it definitely ain't like that Glock polymer. I mean, that, <laughs> if they made that out of Glock polymer, you ain't gonna be bending that shit. No, you're not. Um, all right, real crazy. quick. I know. Uh, Let's uh, let's do that size comparison with okay. uh with more? another yeah just a more practical knife here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and set that right there. Mora. All right. So as you guys see here, this is just a standard Mora. Uh, the blade on that's you know around four inches, and so you're getting a little bit more edge here on the survival edge. Uh, and did this discontinued, they said. Yep. Yeah. They did so, say it was discontinued. So you're going to have to find it like on eBay or something like we yeah, did. Yeah, secondhand where we, market. So where we got this one. We got this on eBay for like $25. And um, I love these hollow handle knives. I'll show you some examples of just some ideas of what I thought of on, on how to um, to use these. Um, all right, let's see that. Uh, we like to do our magnet test here to see how far oh. the tang goes. Careful. And actually, we can actually ah. see the tang here. Oh, Matt, I can't right, get the right, magnet off. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> the magnets love each this other. This is just a neodymium magnet. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so that tank's right there. And actually, if we look down in the, in the tube here, you can actually see where it's injection molded right there. Yeah, a little bit of light on there. Yeah, thank you. And you can see that actually where that tank stops right there. And here, actually, better yet, let's go like this. Can you see it? You can kind of see it at the top there. Yeah, where, right. Yeah, right there. So we got about an maybe three quarters of an inch to an mm -hmm. inch of the tang actually buried in the injection molded in there. Yep. Um, so that's cool. I mean, just, just as much as those other ones there, I think the more does a, does like a halfway stop there on theirs. Um, but uh, these knives ain't made to, to, to go hard. Um, I'll do a little bit of light batoning with it with the little branch. Um, these knives aren't made to go like really, really hard. And uh, like, like I said, I wouldn't baton with this unless I had to. And it would still <laughs> just be light stuff. I'm not going to be batoning like giant logs with this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Knowing that the tang is just short and shallow. Yes. Um, but to get down to, you know, a branch. Right, if, to if, get to the dry stuff. I mean, because yeah. you're, you're not always guaranteed that you're going to find dry stuff when you're out there. Yeah, some people, some, some outdoors people have never even batoned before. And they're like, I, there's no need to. I can just break sticks up. And totally, I get it, man. Whatever works for you. But in a scenario where you actually need to get to some dry material, you're going to have to bust open some wood. Yep. Um, and uh, It's just inevitable. And, and, and get to that drier stuff. Um, okay. Uh, okay, here's an example how I used. Uh, this is just the, the end cap. <laughs> to one of my uh, to my other hollow handle knife. Then, as you see here, it's smooth. It's uh, uh go ahead and just, uh, we'll light that up. And all it is is a candle in the end cap. <coughs> and uh, I did this because if you're in a tent, or if you're you know you're you're in a you're in a survival situation, and you have a candle, you just throw a candle in your bag. That will get you through. It will give you a little bit of light. And keep in mind, it'll come on, save we're, your batteries. We're all we're all adults here. If you're gonna put a fire in your tent, you got to be careful. Yeah. You know I mean, that's why you don't want the candlestick to be like huge. Huge. You don't want it to topple over. But that's one thing about these great metal hollow end caps here. Um, they're heavy, so they work like paperweights. Like I can literally just drop that. You know, I could slide it across the table. Just enough for if you want to conserve your batteries, or if you don't have batteries. Exactly, because um, you might not, or your batteries might be dead. Exactly. 
you know? They don't last forever, and you can't recharge rechargeable batteries when you're out in the wilderness. So, and also, I mean, it, <laughs> exactly. If you're Well, I mean, there are things to do it, but I'm just saying, if you throw a simple candle, like how people used to light things around. Yeah, I uh, mean. I mean, and, and if you're working on cord, I mean, then you could just you just have a constant flame there just to, to burn any ends of the cords that you want. <sighs> you know? And if you're really nervous about it, then... What you do is you get those birthday candles, those safety birthday candles. Yeah, like this this here, you could probably stick a bunch of matches. I would stick some matches in here. Well, I'm going to stick some matches in here. <laughs> Maybe one little tiny birthday candle and um, some fishing string and a couple fishing hooks. And uh, that would definitely, definitely that the essentials right there just to, just to get through um, for a couple hours or let alone a night until safety gets yeah, to some type I of mean, rescue. You would be so happy to have that. For sure, yeah. I mean, it's literally, it would be a life and death it would be, it, it could save your life yeah. for, for reals. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, here's another example. Um, let's do some cut testing actually okay. first, um, and then I'll Want do some paper? fire striking. Uh, yeah. Let's let's just show you how sharp this edge is. Now, keep in mind this is secondary. Uh, I'm gonna move the candle. Yeah. Okay. This is second own. So here. And I will take the camera. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. So let's just see how sharp this edge is here. All right. Nice. I mean, as you guys can see there, the guy lightly used it. Whoever had it previous just lightly used it. There's no, there's no marks in that mirror finish, which you know that he must have babied it. Wow. Okay, there that it goes. That was really nice. Yeah. So I mean, it has an edge. It'll, it'll cut paper. Mm -hmm. um, and what's good about this 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 round type type of panel here, just a little bit, uh -huh. is that you could go like this, and you can and you can actually drill with it just by with your you know, rolling your hands, doing the whole little uh, rolling it in your hands like that, and you could actually drill, make some really nice fine holes if you need to with this point. For making uh, traps. Traps, uh, whatever, you know. Yeah, or getting your bow drill together. Uh, what, yeah, whatever you need. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, drilling holes. Uh, okay, we can, uh, let's do some string. Let's okay. do some paracord real quick. I'll okay. The again. All right. All right, once again, let's see how it does with string. The cordage. Nice. Wow, yeah, that's a nice clean cut there. That is really nice cut. Again. So I mean, like as a boat knife, this is gonna be great. Mm -hmm. um, I know these these handles fade, so I, I, if orange isn't your thing, it gets to like this really ugly orange, um, like this real light, and looks like it looks like it, like you, I mean, you could flick in and break, but it's it, they don't, you know. I mean, it, it, they don't hold yeah. up pretty good. The black one would have been ideal, but actually, I like the orange for being uh more uh, outdoors noticeable. Yeah. Look at that. Nice clean cuts with that. So, yeah. I mean, a boat knife cut, you know, cutting any type of rope or anything mm -hmm. in, a, in a pinch. I mean, you know, you're going under, you're going down the river. This this will do it. Yep. You know, um, being hollow, I don't know how this will do in the water, like if it's going to float or anything. That might be another test that I'll try to do with it to see if... Uh, That's a good question because it is plastic. So, yeah, would, yeah. It, would it float uh, yeah, if, it, if you uh, didn't have anything in the compartment? Right. I, yeah. Just the air. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll try some fire... Some, um, there we go. All right. Hold that again. Yep. And this is just a branch outside. I mean, as you guys see here, it's, it's about an inch thick here. And oh. as you see there, there's that dry wood. So let's, let's try to feather stick this bad boy. Yeah, with ease nice. there. Nice. With ease. I, actually, let me, let me put it down though. Please do not slip and cut yours that off. Yeah, that's candy grinds really digging in. I just, I don't even have to push. I just kind of have to just rest on there. And that's awesome. There it goes right there. So I don't make too much of a mess here. I don't want to hold you guys up too much already. Um, <laughs> so as you see there, it's going to make nice little curls. Let's try splitting this down real quick. Okay. Careful. Lift up the camera a little bit. Yep. Okay. Just on that if you need to get through wood. down to some nice wood that you need to get to and that's that so i mean that will start that, your fire <laughs> yeah that's what you need right there okay another example um here let's go ahead and slide this out of the way right, i will come around thank you all right that. all right do another little testing this is a little flower pot we have i just since we're here in the kitchen doing some tabletop review if you guys are out there working on traps and everything like that right and you, so let's say you don't have your batteries anymore. You're working on traps. Stick it in the dirt. That's another good thing. Yeah. Take that take that candle again, right? Go ahead and take your matches or your lighter. Yeah. 
our lighter will work. <laughs> and there you go. I mean, if you're if, if you're doing some type of survival scenario, checking your trap line at night, or if you just need to walk around with 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 a torch, you know, if it's not too windy or whatever, there you go. But uh, just stick it right in the dirt and uh, check check out what's going on. You got light. Go ahead and uh, kill the lights real quick. Okay. All right, and I'll get some more cordage out. Darkness. There we go. There Darkness we go. Darkness has come. Okay. Sort of. And then you're working on your cordage out there. You got once again cordage uh, right on the fly right here. So you're not using up your big lighters or anything like mm -hmm. that. Or uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, people make torches or whatever. But I'm just saying this is a more controlled way of doing it. And if you have a candle on you, it's like how people used to light. It's yeah. It's, it's the ancient way. So it's like why it still works. I mean, like I said, a survival situation. You're gonna be happy to do that. Yeah. And uh, because if you guys ever use cordage and you're working a cordage in your tent or whatever. Um, you're going to be using a, the heck of a lot of, uh, of, uh, butane or whatever you're using in, in your lighter as a propellant or fuel. Yep. Um, so unless you've got a fire going, which you can't have a fire in your tent, but yeah. if you got a candle and then once again, let's light this one here. This was the, the, the one inside the tent here. I'm trying to do this through the camera. There we go. My depth, perfect, uh, depth perception. Yeah. And then look, I mean, as, as weighty as that is, I mean, I can literally slide it, carry that around. I mean, you're doing everything in your tent. There it is. And if anything, if that wax, if that wax does drip down on those, on those threads, I mean, it might work as even a better sealer. Yeah. I mean, cause you know, all this wax, you just carve it right off and then yep. there it is. Slide it around. <laughs> yeah. You got so, that. So, uh, this cap is a little, a little, a little light to do that. As you guys can see the light shining through it, it's, it's literally yeah. just like a bottle cap. Um, th this one's a little bit light, but like I said, um, the storage compartment basically in a Mora knife setup, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's cool. It it's, is. it's it's it, 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 I mean if I was if, like it. if I was a tour guide I'd probably put like four or five of these on the boat if the people didn't have anything I I'd, I'd make it mandatory I'd be like here you wear this knife look you don't got a knife here take this knife because you ain't got nothing here you take it exactly I mean at the price you can do that accidents happen yeah you know so uh, that's why they call them accidents right <laughs> all right so what do you have on you today I have oh, we probably should... a buck oh, okay yeah yeah that what what hand book knife yeah. Actually, that's nice. Um, what model is that? The 886T wooden handle, mm -hmm. pin construction. I mean, you got a, you got the, the pivot screw there. You got yep. that tackle screw. And guess what I got? He's got the same thing. The same thing. We got twins. Yeah, we got matching knives. She actually just da, picked da, da, that da, one up. Da, da, da. And uh, I've had this one. I got rid of it one time before, and I said, you know what? I got to get this knife <laughs> yeah, again. He did. He was like, love yeah. it so much. Yeah. Little tactical knives, but yep. they're, they're super light liner lock, only one position pocket clip, and uh, she's rocking hers. Um, mm -hmm. Because and, it's light enough, I can stick it anywhere. She's got it in her bosom, and yep. I got mine in my. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I got mine in the waistband, but really, it's just smooth. It's just not even on bearings on washers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this was made in America. Yep. And uh, just a cool little knife. Um, yeah. yeah, we're rocking these today. So go ahead and turn that light back on. Okay. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. Let's strike. Uh, let's try striking some fire steel with it real quick. So let's blow this out. All right. There we go. Let me blow that one out. I'll blow this one out. Uh huh. Take hey. that. Set that there. Got it. All right. Let's pull this back out of the flower pot. Okay. Actually, let's keep that flower pot I was there. Say you might here, want to hold, keep the, that hold the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna get the camera. It's winter here, so there's nothing in these flower pots. It's all <laughs> yeah. dead. Okay. Everything dies. This is just one of those cheap, cheesy. Uh, uh, f uh, fire starter. So uh, let's see here. Let's just try down here. Let's do it. Oh, there it goes. There it went. I gotta scratch some of that coating off first. Mm -hmm. There we go. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, it's down if there. If it was a better ferro rod. Like I said, I got I got that coating, but it is it is sharp enough to to do it. Yeah. Let's see it one more time. There it goes. Yeah. There it is. There it goes. Nice. So it, <laughs> it'll start a fire. You yep. just scratch, strike, and then you got it. But uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thanks.